Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show you some nice holiday gifts you can get for your loved ones or maybe for yourself. And the first one is this Earfun SP200. You want a great sound system in a car? Hey, watch this. Rocking around Christmas tree. But if you're a fanatic, you can buy two of them and set them up. These things are so inexpensive. Not only is it a great gift for your loved ones, but hey, let's say your loved one doesn't play the music you like. Well, <laughs> they got this in here. You can just get your phone out and play the music you like instead. <laughs> These things have gone a long way in the last decade. For the small price of this one, it amazes me that they can make such quality. There's tons of them out there, but I've tried a bunch, and this one was the best one for the bang that I ever found. Now, what am I doing hiding in the garage? Well, this is what I'm doing. This is a fantastic safety warning device. It's made by a company called Hokina and it does all kinds of warning things but this is my favorite. That's the international Morse code for SOS. Dot 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 saying SOS. So if your ship is sinking you certainly want to have one of these babies. It does all kinds of different flashing and it also serves it's a pretty good flashlight if you need a flashlight. These LEDs last a long time. It's magnetic. Just don't stick it on your car and pretend that you're a police car because you're breaking the law, man. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo. Heck, they sell them in three packs. You can get a three pack. So you can have one, give them to two of your friends, too. It's a very good safety device. You can't beat something like this at night. You can't miss it. Let's say something weird happened. You get run over the road. Maybe you're in the middle of nowhere. Well, at least if you can stick this on the top of your car to the window or have it on the inside flashing, people are going to see this flashing. And this thing will flash for days. Of course, that's a big advantage of LEDs. They don't use much power. So they can flash a really long time on a small amount of electricity. Look, I'm a Christmas tree. You get these LED light kits. It's a must win rock light kit. Comes with a remote. Now, they have apps that you can use on phones. The problem I found with the apps is a lot of times the apps don't work all that well, but it's got this remote controller, so really, you can do all kinds of things with the remote controller, but if you want to mess around, hook it up to a stereo system, and have it go with the music, eh, you can give that a wang if you want. There's a zillion things you can do. You can make them go on and off. You can make them flash like a strobe. I mean, this computer stuff is cool. Now, of course, they come with mounting kits. So what you actually do is you mount them under the wheel wells and wherever you want to make the lights flash out at night. They really look cool at night. The system just has a positive wire and a negative wire. You can put on a battery or a wire or into the car, whatever you want. Heck, if you're too lazy to put lights around your house, you can hook this up to a 12 volt inverter in your house and put them outside and have them shine on the outside of your house. At night they project quite well. <laughs> It'd be a lazy man's Christmas lights for your house. Now, another possible gift is this Fetomile solar power generator. Now, it doesn't generate power from solar energy. It can actually store it if you want. That's just the name. What it basically is, is it's a giant power supply for anybody when they're traveling around. And this particular one is a real serious device. As you can see, three USB plugs. It's got pure sine wave energy. This stuff is not going to destroy any of your electronic devices. It's made for them. The side benefit of it is, if you got a solar charger, you're out camping or something, you can actually recharge it with the sun and then use it at night. Powers all kinds of stuff. It's even got a 120 volt receptacle in it. Now, the problem with that is, that's fine if you want to plug a laptop or something in, but don't try to plug in a 120 volt drill or something. It'll barely turn. It doesn't have the power for that. This is for electronic use really for all electronic devices. So it'll work with any kind you have. It's got AC, it's got DC 12 volt and 5 volt or like I said you can use on 120 volt electronics. Don't plug your blender in and think you're gonna make margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> when you're out in the woods with this because it doesn't work well with something that's got a motor. It's for electronic devices. Maybe you got an older car doesn't have a lot of plugs in the back seat. I've run three phone systems on this thing for 20 hours straight and it still had power left. So nobody's driving more than 20 hours as a stretch. When you get wherever you're going, you can plug it back in and recharge it for the next day. <laughs> now the next product I'm talking about is a seal and squeal by a company called Lithium. Yeah, strange name. 
this is the best sealer wax system that I've ever found. It's easy to use. It's even got a pleasant smell, kind of cherry. You just dab some on and you wipe it on. Simple. Now as this is also a sealer, you don't want to just put it on and wipe it off. You want to do it like now. This is early in the morning. The sun's not beaming down, so it won't beat anything. I let it sit for, oh, a good 15 minutes. Then, use a nice microfiber towel. Give it a good buffing. Roll it over every once in a while to get it all off. You want to make sure you wipe all the haze off. And when you're done, you got a nice smooth surface that's protected. It's better from the ultraviolet rays of the sun that destroy paint. Look at that shine. You can see the tree in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to seal and squeal a lot for over a year now, and I gotta say, it's the best one that I've tried out of all the ones from the entire planet. Now, this stuff isn't cheap, it's like 39 bucks. But if you want the best wax and polish and sealer, you really can't beat it. And anyway, when you think about it, this is a holiday gift video. You don't want to be cheap and give a cheap gift to somebody, so why not give them the best wax and polish out there? <laughs> If you're cheap yourself, hey, you can go out and buy a cheaper one and wax your car, but hey, this is the best stuff I've found. It makes a great gift. If somebody does a little research on it, they'll see. Now, the last cool gift is this uh, Tool X80. It's a scan tool. It's a speedometer, tachometer. It gives you all kinds of information, and anyone can use it. And hooking it up isn't rocket science. It's simple. One end of the cable plugs in here, and then the other end goes onto the dash. It plugs right into your OBD port. Very simple. There's the OBD port, it just plugs right in. And as you can see, it can do all kinds of things. OBD, it can look up trouble codes. It also can show the RPM via tachometer. And it's also a working speedometer. It's a menu of all the things it can do, read code. Give you a data stream. It can do all kinds of things. Let's look at data stream. View all items, then we can see everything. Gives you all kinds of information. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> it's fascinating. It's a great gift for somebody who wants to learn a little bit more about their car. A real tech heavy guy who wants to see data while he's driving on the road. And let's say maybe your speedometer broke. I had a customer last year the speedometer broke on their car and they couldn't get it inspected. The speedometer and the dash was broken. It was going to cost over a thousand bucks to replace it. Haha, <laughs> you can get one of these, plug it in, it'll be a working speedometer right there. Then they can't fail you for not having a working speedometer. Cause this thing will show you what speed you're going. And considering that this thing costs 59 bucks on Amazon, it beat the heck out of spending over a grand fixing the one in a dash. Just plug this thing in, away it goes. And it also has a bunch of other things you can mess around with as usual, you know, there's a bunch of different settings. So it's a really must have for a techie friend of yours. Maybe he's got an older car, doesn't have all the gauges on it. Hey, they're all in here for 59 bucks. And since it's mechanic, Monday, I'm going to be giving away one of these ear fun speaker systems to have a chance to win. Place a clean, non offensive comment on the YouTube comments below to win this cool speaker so you can play holiday music while you're headed to the relative's house. And here are some bonus questions and answers. Here we go. GM's at it again. If you own a 2019 to 20 Silverado, or Sierra, you better check it under a recall because your rear end may start on fire. I am not making this up. 556,000 of these things are recalled because the seat belt systems were not made correctly. When the front seat pretensioners start to tension as you stop fast, hot gas may escape up from them. And this can theoretically start the carpet on fire. You'll really have a hot foot in this vehicle. I guess they're really made for hot foot people. Now their fix is hilarious. They're just going to close off that little area where the bracket is so the hot air can't come out of there. <laughs> that reminds me when I was a kid. My father had a Chevy Biscayne that had a V8 engine and GM made the motor mounts wrong and they were breaking all the time. So they recalled them, but their fix wasn't Oh, we'll jack your engine up and replace all the motor mounts because that would have cost GM too much money. Their solution was they put little chains on top of each motor mount. So if the motor mounts broke, instead of the motor falling and dragging on the ground, the little chains would hold it up in the air. Some fix. <laughs> the 
are trying to figure the cheapest way they can get away with fixing a problem that they designed wrong in the first place. I mean, making a vehicle that could start on fire under your feet and light the carpet up. I mean, talk about bozo engineering. You couldn't make this stuff up if you wanted to make it up. So if you got one of those, hey, look up recalls. And like I tell everyone, if you are worried about your car at all, you can go to the government website, U.S. government recall data for my car. It'll take you right to the website. You type in your VIN number. And if you're worried about any recalls on your car, they'll all come up by you putting that VIN number in and you can't miss any of them. It's really handy to do that every once in a while. And especially if you got a problem with your car and it's not running right, it could be a recall. So always keep that in mind. That VIN number can give you a lot of information and that website by the government is totally free. It's the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.